two storied college hockey programs back in the top 10 are set to meet again this evening on Comav for the second straight night. It's the number eight BU Terriers against the number nine Maine Black Bears right now on Hockey East. Hudson defending there to the circle. Karan makes the save. Kick save. Oh. He made a second one as well. Wow. There's a goal saver right there. Remember that one. Two of them. Nice job going east west here. Watch right here as Maine gets the puck, makes a nice play, gets that puck to that grade A bumper area. Nobody picks him up. Three back Black Bears attacking the net down low like that. Karan does a nice job just tying things up, slowing things down. Gonna be good after tonight. Nadeau finds the Nadeau who finds the back of the goal. What a game. What a move by Hudson at the line. Finds his brother Quinn. Gonna swim away from a couple of Black Bears defending. Hudson looking for space, he scores! Last night he had a chance to go top shelf and roofed it a little too high. Quinn Hudson a little bit behind Celebrini. Oh, Chips on the feed for the goal, it's Tuck! Now he'll come to the bench for a new twig. BU trying to catch the Black Bears on a chain, wow. scores! Lachance buzzes it through Osman. Chabrier up top for Breen. Breen with a drive, he scores! Ron never saw it. Three unanswered BU goals, then a power play goal from Maine. That happened in both games this weekend between these two teams. Certainly a lot of different stuff in the mix there. And here's BU the other way, go. scores! <laughs> Hudson from Celebrini! Down two now here in the third is Maine. That's it, turn it deep. Don't want to give Maine any opportunities. Nice cycle down low. Wilmer. Wilmer. Oh, to Kaplan, wow. he scores! Holt. Better watch Nadeau sliding down that weak There side. it is, beautiful setup to the bumper. Josh Nadeau fires at home. He's getting run around a little bit here. We gotta get back to this structure. A little bit helter-skelter. In front, scores! Oh. Poisson taps it through the five hole. And we've got a one goal game with under three minutes to go. Nadeau almost got double teamed Chabrier. Can't get it through the crowd. Breen on the four check in the corner. Gets it up top. Nadeau. Okay, Caron lost the stick for a second. Now. Chabrier towards the mixer. Puck's on the back of the goal. Caron does not have his stick currently. Well, somebody better get him one. Stevens helps to get the puck out to center. Bouncing puck will go nice. down north no, of the goal no line. Way. Nice job, Tuck beat him down there. Tuck was the first one. Beat him to the dot. Green, cross ice feed too far ahead of Bradley Nadeau. Charging in on Kane Weber. Around the wall, get it out, no. Chabrier hangs it at the line. Green can't hang on to possession from Gretzky's office, back to Breen. 20 seconds to go, Breen will try, goes off of Stevens who gets a block. Breen from up top to the middle, Nadeau with a fake, to Nadeau! Karan with a oh, save! goodness, game save, I thought that was in. What a save by Karan, he lost his stick in the process, a game saving save! Final seconds, Nadeau can't there get it go. towards the goal and the Terriers oh win! Um, it was a, you know, big weekend sweep for us uh, against a very good team. Clearly, they, um, they don't quit. They don't give up. I think what we need to take away from it uh, as a team is we need to learn how to close games out. Um, wasn't happy with letting them get back in the game. Thought they had most of the pressure last night when we had the, when we had a three-one lead. Then tonight we have a five-two lead and we get we let them get right back in the game again. So that's something that we have to learn from. Um, we have to manage the game much better. And it's still early in the season, so hopefully we learn from that. But overall, um, you know, it's a, it's a great weekend for us. Yesterday you said you wanted to maybe bolster your 5 on 5 play. What did you see from the team in that area today? I thought it was better. Um, I don't know what we had for, we have four 5 on 5 goals, I think it was. Um, one part, am I right? I don't even, yeah. I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it was better for sure. I thought we had some, some more, uh, more sustained ozone time. I thought we were transitioning quick and getting behind him a little better. Um, so yeah, it was definitely better five on five. 
I still think like, we, we need to do a better job in, in our own end, um, especially against you. You got to know who you're playing against too uh, when you're on the ice. And uh, I thought at times we turn pucks over when you got the other team's top line out there, and they're a dangerous line. I mean, clearly, it seems like every time they have a puck, they're going to make a play. So. You know, it's, it's, there's definitely things we can take away. We, we've got to be happy with, with getting two wins, but you know, there's things we, we need to improve on. Ron really kept you guys in the game, 39 saves. Um, what can you say about his conference right now? Yeah, he's, he's clearly playing very well. It seems like, I think I've talked about it before, he seems like he's getting more comfortable. Um, seems like he's getting better game to game, week to week. So, um, again, he made a huge save there. Um, we were down six on five. So, very happy with his weekend. Lachance is kind of known for his net front presence, but a different type of goal today. What can you say about his versatility? Yeah, he's he's been a um, very, very good player for us. Um, he's been productive. Um, he's been reliable. I uh, can play him against anyone. He's excellent on the power play. He's very good two-way forward, good on the wall. So been really happy with him. And it, it, that was a big goal for us there. Um, it's a great finish. I've seen him score that goal before. That's, that's kind of his shot. So uh, it was great to see it go in the net. How do you feel about I thought that I thought that line was excellent. I thought they were they had a lot of chances that line, um, and I think we know like with Quinn, uh, he gets it in the slot, and there's a good chance it's going in the net. And you saw that again tonight. So I thought that line made a lot of plays. It was good to see they could have had more than what they had. Um, I thought they were very good. Oh, we had playing the rating national championship champions on Wednesday. Just what kind of confidence the last two weekends give you to play against a team like that? Yeah, I think it helps. Um, I think the last three weekends for us have been pretty good. Um, you know, obviously still, you know, we're always looking to improve. And uh, Quinnipiac's a very good team. So, you know, we, we got to be ready for the challenge. And for us, you know, uh, having back-to-back -back games here, we're not used to playing midweek games. Um, so we got to make sure we're ready for that. It's going to be a 5 o'clock game, you know, night before Thanksgiving. So we got to make sure we have good focus. They're a very structured team, uh, very hard to play against. So it's another... Uh, measuring stick game for our team. You've got plenty of brothers on this team. What were your thoughts pulling the McCarthy's out together? Uh, that's on Kim. Kim Bramble runs our D, so uh, <laughs> if he had them out there together, it was on him. But there, I thought Gavin had an excellent game tonight. Uh, maybe one of his, probably his best game. I, I thought he was excellent. Um, but yes, we, we have lots of brothers here. So <laughs> well, sometimes they play together, sometimes they don't. But it's, uh, it's nice to have, um, so it's been fun. Coach, uh, PK in the second. Yeah, I think a good power play broke through. I, um, I think we didn't do a good enough job. Uh, I think on the, they scored one with not much time left on the power play. Uh, you know, you, can we get a block there? Maybe that helps. Um, the other one, they made a pretty nice bang bang play, and that's going to happen. So yeah, you'd like to get at least kill one of those two. But uh, overall, I thought our penalty kill is definitely improving, and, and that's important for us. You referenced last week ahead of time that you, know, you thought it would be a fun series and harkening back to when you were playing. Did, that, did you feel that buzz this weekend? Did you that meet your expectations? It did. It definitely met, uh, our, I think, my expectations and our expectations as a team. Like they were, they were hard to play against. They were very good. They keep coming at you. They, they're deep pinch all the time. So you got to be strong on the walls. Um, there was some up and down action. There's um, you know, obviously they have that, like I talked about, that top line. They got a lot of skill. So there was some up and down the ice play, and that's it's fun. It's fun to watch. I know it's a week away. We're just writing an early preview. But Red Hot Hockey first NHL right this season. Just what are the teams? Yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun for our guys, um, especially guys that haven't played in that environment. It's a great environment uh, at MSG, so it should be a lot of fun. Haven't really thought about it too much up to this point. We still have one more game to go before that, so. Um, but I think it'll be a great experience for our guys. I, I think our schedule has been really good for our guys. Um, having Quinnipiac defending national champs next, then Cornell, who's always very difficult to play against. We had a couple of great games against them last year, so it's it's a great schedule for our guys. Uh, it, it doesn't take much to get up for these games, that's for sure. Anything else for Coach? Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Shane, just what did you see on that goal? 
kind of a net front guy with a little bit of a different look. Um, what it means to put the team up then? Yeah, it was a little out of my range. Uh, I think it was a big time for our team, you know, to get some energy and. Tom made a great play to stretch a pass up to me and luckily stay on size and kind of just shot it and found its way in, so it felt good for sure. Your line had a big weekend matching up with Maine's top line. Just what works so well for you guys shutting their production down? Yeah, I think our line's, our line's been good. Uh, Steve-O's, Steve-O's awesome down the middle. Um, he makes me and Dougie's lives a lot easier. Um, you know, he's, he's sound defensively, good on the breakout, and just works hard. So I think we were able to contain him. You know, obviously tonight they, they got one on us, but... Uh, and overall, I think we did a pretty decent job on him. Um, Lane, your brother had two goals tonight. You connected on both of them. What can you say about his offense and Yeah, uh, you know, it's nice to see him finally going for him. You know, I know he's fighting it a little bit, but, uh, you know, obviously Macklin's making some great plays to him, and, uh, you know, he loves that, but, you know, he scores goals. It's what he does. Another big weekend for power play special teams. From either of you, just what's working so well is? Yeah, I think uh, we're just, you know, we're keeping it, you know, a little more simple and being more direct with our plays and then, you know, trying to get, you know, their kill out of position and then, you know, making the high end plays off of that. Yeah, I think it's been great. Um, you know, we got, we got a lot of skilled guys on that unit, obviously. So, you know, these guys can pass it around pretty good up top. And, uh, you know, if we move it quick and we make plays and shoot the puck, you know, the simpler the better. So, you know, we just got to keep going forward here. You guys haven't lost the regulation in nine straight games. I think it's just, you know, we've been learning how to win these tight games. Um, you know, we're, we're really coming together as a group. Uh, obviously not the start we wanted, but um, I think, you know, we're learning how to win tight hockey games, and that's, you know, it's going to go a long way going down the stretch here. So. And also talked about closing out games maybe a bit better down yeah. the stretch. This, what adjustments do you guys have to make later in the third? Um, you know, I think... I probably shouldn't have shot for that empty net at the end. But, uh, you know, other than that, you know, guys bailed me out at the end. Uh, but it was, you know, it was good for us to, you know, close out that game and the one last night, too. But, you know, it's definitely just, you know, just competing and winning pucks and getting pucks out of the zone. And also, it's been emphasizing generating offense from defense. How do you think that's affected your yeah, I think you know we've we've been doing a good job, uh, you know, playing defense first. Obviously, tonight we gave up gave up a lot of shots. Uh, Chewy was great for us; he bailed us out a lot. But I think when when we're playing sound defensively, that's when we're at our best and breaking pucks out quick and getting them behind their D. And just you know, that's that's where we build offense for sure. And Quinnipiac next. Is there any extra pressure on that game knowing they're the reigning you know, champions, or just another game to go win? I mean, I think I think you know we're playing well right now. We're we're on a little bit of a streak, and I think that should give us confidence. Obviously, obviously, it just gives us a little extra motivation, you know, to beat them. And you know, obviously, these guys were in the Frozen Four last year, and uh, they saw them win it. So it's 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 tough, and you know, you want to you want to stick it to them for sure. What did you guys feel about Crom's performance tonight? Obviously, it came up even with some pretty big saves. You want to talk about that? Yeah, uh, you know, he's been huge for us all year, and you know, especially the last couple of games. You know, it seems like he's found another level and, uh, you know, puts a lot of, you know, it helps us out a lot, but, it, you know, helps, uh, you know, helps us generate more too. You know, he's been better at playing pucks and, uh, you know, everything's just kind of clicking. Yeah, obviously it's it's not easy to come transfer into a new group of guys, you know, coming from Brown, but, you know, I, I think he's really settling in and he's gaining a lot of confidence and you can definitely see it out there for sure. It's just what, uh, I don't know if there's anything you can pinpoint, but what is the difference now compared to the beginning of the year? Why, why are you able to uh, pull these games out? Yeah, uh, I think, you know, everyone's comfortable with each other now. You know, early on, you know, we had a lot of new guys, and it could be tough at times, but, you know, we don't want to make that excuse. And, uh, you know, we're all really gelling together, and, uh, you know, we're really competing in our own end, and, you know, it's showing because we're able to transition pucks and, you know, put teams back on their heels. Thanks, guys. Thank you.